Good morning, everyone. I'm coming to you from the enchanted forest of Tryon Creek here in Oregon. Well, the mood struck, and I had to make another video. In the interest of full disclosure, when I'm doing these videos, they're unscripted. All I have is my little notebook that's full of my ideas. But the mood hit, and I needed to do this. It's just like when I'm writing. I need to get it down on paper. Or, in this case, through the spoken word. Today, I want to discuss one of the easier to comprehend seven principles of Hermeticism known as the Principle of Correspondence. You may know this better as, as above, so below. So below, as above. What that basically states is that the micro world will always mirror the macro world. Or, as within, so without. You can see this firsthand. This isn't just a concept. Think of an atom. You have electrons that are revolving around their center point of gravity, known as the nucleus, which is full of the protons and neutrons. It's just like a solar system, where the planets are revolving around their central gravity point, which is their star. For us, it's the sun. But it goes deeper than that. Look closely at your eye, and then look at an image of a helix nebula. They're one and the same. Or, we've all seen the images of hurricanes on television. Look at how they revolve around their central point or their eye wall. Does it not mirror a galaxy revolving around its central point, the supermassive black hole? But you can go deeper than that. Look at what scientists believe is the structure of the universe. It looks like the pathways of a human brain. So the micro world is mirroring the macro world. Now, if we want to delve deeper into it, we can delve into the as within, so without. So you find yourself around toxic people. You find yourself around violence or someone who's extremely argumentative with you all the time. Well, what's going to happen is you're going to become more argumentative. And then the other people you were arguing with, they're going to become more argumentative. And the circle goes on and on and on. How do we break this? We choose not to argue. If we don't argue with them, then they'll stop arguing. And hopefully, you can break the circle. Now, this concept was once taught by a man who became our savior and I need to clear something up from what I said in my last video regarding him, capital H. I said that I find the name Jesus derogatory when discussing Yeshua. There's a reason for this. Around 325 AD, under Constantine's rule, 
the Romans devised to give him, capital H, a new name. His true name is Yehoshua, or Yeshua for short. Well, the Romans wanted it to be a little bit easier for people. So, their new name for him, Jesus, translates to Hail Zeus. And Christ means to be rubbed in ointment or to be anointed. So when you say the name Jesus Christ, you're actually saying Hail Zeus, the Anointed One. That's why I choose not to use that term. I use basically the name his mama gave him, Yehoshua or Yeshua. Anyway, he knew about this principle. And in the Gnostic Gospel of Thomas, which is a collection of sayings attributed to Yahoshua, he, I'm actually going to break out my notepad so I don't screw this up for you. I wrote it down because I wanted to get it very accurate. The kingdom is within you and outside you. When you know yourselves, then you will be known. And you will realize that you are the children of the living Father. Does that not sound like it? The difference between Hermeticism and what Yeshua taught was Yeshua taught the living Father. Hermeticism teaches the all. The all is all of creation. It's the mind. Hence, look at the structure of the universe. But how can we break the cycle we find ourselves living in? Well, first, we can try to have a more positive outlook. Think positively about the good things in your life, which I know is very difficult. The foods we eat, the water, the sodas we drink, it's all full of poison, which clouds our perception, clouds how we think. So I'm not saying it's easy. But if you start to have a more positive outlook, you'll see more positive things occur in your life. If you say you want to be rich or wealthy, well, what is being rich or wealthy? Is it a collection of earthly things? I want earthly things. I know you want earthly things. But if you have a rich take on life, a wealthy sense of mind, the universe, the all, the living Father, will reward you with earthly wealth, earthly riches. Maybe not to the level of some billionaire like we would all hope for, but you'll see it all works out. It is a little bit chilly out here today, as you can tell. We had thunderstorms last night, so it's very wet and very humid. Can we change? I believe we can. If we affect change, we affect the universe. If we put out positive vibrations, they will reverberate throughout our small circle, which will reverberate out beyond that circle to a larger circle and so on and so forth. Some of the other points that I'd like to make 
is even the late, great Bob Marley knew about this principle. In his song Exodus, he said, open your eyes and look within. Are you satisfied with the life you're living? Well, are you? Do you know there's something better for you? Does it just feel wrong? You can't think like that. You have to think positive. And when you think positive, the world around you will become more positive. It's an easy concept to comprehend a very difficult concept to actually live. I struggle with it myself every day. I want to be positive, but I see so much pain and hate and hurt in the world knowing that is there anything I really can do? Putting out positive vibes, will that help? Maybe, maybe a little. And yes, there are people who intentionally send out negative vibes. We have to cut them out of our lives. As sad as that is, it's something we have to do. I, for one, like to hope for the best, plan for the worst. Does that go against the principle? I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is to be the change, you have to think the change. And when you think the change, you'll affect the change. We can all help the world around us by just having a positive thought or two. I know it sounds like some hippie logic, and it pretty much is, but I think we're going to have to call it a day on this video. It's running a little bit long. I covered the main points and then rambled on for a while. I hope to see you again real soon with another video. Until then, I love you all. Bye.